tow in. Remember you said the rear wheels are towing in a little bit. They can tow in up to 1.8 degrees. Now, 1.8 degrees among friends sitting in a room, I mean, that's virtually imperceptible. First start out, as I mentioned out in the showroom, it's the exact same engine that you have. This is the same 3.5 liter IV Type V6 engine, 310 horsepower. Internet. Internet has made the market more efficient. Now, I'm going to stop at that first word, Internet. How many of you were around uh, 10, 12 years ago when the internet first butted its nose in our business? Yeah, exactly. And I don't mean rear bank as in it's not moving, because they're always moving. All six are always moving. There's just not any fuel being dumped into the rear. Two independent electric motors. This is kind of what it looks like from a dissection standpoint. What this article is stating right now, NADA says we're at about $2,300 a copy. Gross profit for every pre-owned vehicle we sell. And in the very near future, in the very, very near future, it's probably going to drop, drop down closer to $1,800. We talked about this out front. Uh, again, Sport Hydro drivetrain is three electric motors. One situated up front in the transmission, twin motor unit in the back, one and one. Motor integrated seven speed dual clutch transmission, 260 volt lithium ion battery pack right there. So there are a few benchmarks, and this is on page two in your workbook. There are a few benchmarks that we're going to be focusing on today and working towards. The first one is cost to market. Now, cost to market not to exceed 84%. The vehicle can run on battery alone, rear wheel drive, 100% emission free driving. Helps the vehicle rotate around a turn without a whole lot of input to it, very well balanced. So, that's what this vehicle does. Remember that because when you start going through your demonstrations, this is really impressive right here. This is a 4,500 pound vehicle that's running in stealth mode. It's incredibly quiet. It's fantastic. So let's just say this is, uh, this is that 5 series we were talking about earlier. Rear wheel drive, fixed rear wheels. Now the driver puts in some right steering input. Since these rear wheels are fixed, they're struggling to try to track with the front wheels. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dave Parsons. All it's designed to do is help reclaim some of that lost kinetic energy. Pulls it back in, puts it in a place where it can be stored and used later. So with that, all I want you to do is just remember, use your workbooks. Use your workbooks number two. Use the cheat sheet. If you have any questions, let me know. If I don't know the answers, what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of time during lunch, maybe at the end of the day, and see if I can't come up with the answers for you. Hard braking situation. Hard braking. What's going to happen to the front of the vehicle? Dip. It's going to dive. It's going to dip. And that's just inertia. That's just weight transfer. Under hard braking conditions, 75, 80% of the weight can be loading up the front suspension. So it allows you to stay in the dealership, maybe make a little bit more money. There's not been one dealership I've been in that actually hadn't sold one or two more cars during the course of the day because you guys were still covering the 